Hi there. Welcome to Getting Wellville. I want to dispel a myth for you. The myth of autoimmune diseases. Let me first play a short clip from Dr. Robert Morse, one of the greatest healers of our time. Please never buy into the autoimmune ridiculousness. Because that automatically, when someone says you have an autoimmune problem, immediately you know they don't have the first clue to what causes your problem and that the autoimmune is the safest place to be for medical doctors. Because your body is the one having the problem. We don't know what it is, but your body's having that problem. Your immune system's all screwed up. That sort of thing. And that, that, that goes for just about everything, from diabetes to, to uh, cancers to everything. Uh, inflammatory, autoimmune, that sort of thing. Well, we know why, don't we? Exactly, we all know why. Oh, we know why, all right. So let's break this down. I used to have ulcerative colitis. The doctors I saw called this an autoimmune disease. They said that my own immune system was attacking my colon and they didn't know how to fix it. One of the therapies they suggested was to suppress my immune system with drugs so it was literally too weak to even attack myself. How does that sound? Well, unfortunately, if you are a fan of living, this is a bad idea. So let me explain quickly what's really going on with these so-called autoimmune diseases because if we start to believe that our own immune system is stupid enough to attack our own body then we lose faith in our body's ability to heal itself. So the immune system is better known as your lymphatic system. This is the sewer system of the body every cell in your body is in contact with this system because every cell needs to eat and release its waste it feeds from the blood and releases its waste into the lymph fluid in a perfect world the lymphatic fluid would flow like this river unobstructed straight to the kidneys where the acidic waste would be filtered out of the body through the urine Unfortunately for a lot of people, their kidneys can't keep up with the toxicity load and they become clogged up. So now we have a lymph fluid that is filled with acids in direct contact with our cells for far longer than was ever meant to be. And these acids burn. Toxins damage and mutate cells when they're held for too long in one place. It's like leaving a baby too long without changing their diaper. They're bathing in their own waste and the skin gets irritated. This is what's happening in so-called autoimmune diseases. Your immune system is not attacking yourself. But the acids trapped in your lymphatic fluid are starting to break down cells in whatever area of the body they're trapped in. So for some people it might be the joints, for others the digestive tract, it doesn't matter the location. What we need to know is toxins are backing up in our lymphatic system and they're damaging our cells. So in order to get these acids out of the body, we must unclog the four organs of elimination responsible for removing these toxins. They are the kidneys, colon, skin, and lungs. You clean these organs out, then the toxins can flow out of you, and when your cells are no longer bathing in acids, they regenerate. It's that simple. So your body is not attacking itself. Your body is not a big brother who is holding your arm punching you in the face with your own arm and saying why are you hitting yourself stop hitting yourself no that is not happening your body is not an asshole your immune system is not attacking you but it is holding on to the acids that are damaging your cells so you got to clean yourself out 
by eating lots of raw fruits and veggies and focus on regenerating your four organs of elimination. Use herbs to do that. All the while, you're avoiding the acid-forming foods that congest our lymph even further, like animal products, fried foods, processed foods. Even just too much cooked food in general can clog you up. So that's it. I hope that sheds some light on what's really going on with so-called autoimmune diseases. Beware whenever you hear somebody say that, they don't know what they're talking about. Once we understand the body and what it's doing, we can help it along instead of living in fear that it has some mysterious agenda against us. It does not, my friend. Okay.